So, Irish Grand National time then. Big field for this, as you'd expect. 27 by the looks of it. And three miles and five furlongs to go. So, not quite as far as the Aintree National or the Scottish National, which maybe later, maybe tomorrow. I can't remember. Anyway, the top one is San Dossio and Molliet Surfer. Sands of the Marina, Darren Thompson. Assemble the Forces, Paul Rhodes, Glen Moss, Tara, Ghost Zappa, W again, Kevin Meenan, Zuba David, Paul Rhodes, Big Future, Daniel French, Blood of My Blood, Leon Van Rensburg, Ashton, James Follis, Third Prophet, Joshua Sullivan, Passive Future, Daniel French, Napoleon Gray, Stu Gray, Grishin and Grand Clutterbuck, Right Grass, David Robertson, Dark Knight, Leon Van Rensburg, Magic Muldoon and Nievery, Martin Leedham, Coupe de Ville, Doug Warren, Southern Quest, Kevin Minahan, Half Supreme, Derek Hinton, Dan City Blue, Stu Gray, Bracer Impact, Graham Clutterbook, Grain Ambience and Eye Catcher, Darren Howes, Jenny Black, Mighty Dev, Alex Cherry and Winning Race for Doug Warren. They're already racing and over that little pathway and down towards the first fence then. And Jenny Black is the leader. Some of these are caught really, really wide early on. Magic Muldoon is virtually in another county as they sort themselves out and make their way towards the first of only 22 fences and they take the first and they're all over that one okay there'll be a lot of running on the flat in this race it's just 22 races over th 22 races 22 fences over three miles and five furlongs and half supreme is the leader for Derek Hinton the rest of them are pretty much in a pack at the moment and really wide on the track as they take this first ditch and it'll take for them to get themselves into some sort of proper racing formation but uh, at the moment they don't appear to be making any attempt whatsoever so to do and half supreme is in the best place possible i think at the moment on the inside in the lead some of those forces managed to jump the outside of the fence there so another one of those examples where something needs to be done about field sizes and if they don't fit on the track they shouldn't be in the race and that's the way it should be really it's not difficult to work out what the track limits are it's in the software it's all there you need to look for it and it's half supreme the leader then to winning race second but of my blood third right grass is fourth as they take the fifth they're not all safe now that three of them fell at the same time so jenny black eye catcher and sounds of the marina all out of the race at that one and half supreme is in front to right grass in second and winning race in glen moss tara as they jump over number six and um, we've lost another couple there, and uh, Magic Muldoon, who had been running in a different parish for most of the race, and also assembled the forces, gone. So two of the three top weights have gone then, which is unfortunate. They never got anywhere near the lead as they take the seventh. They all got over it that time. So half Supremes in the lead then from Grain Ambient second, then Right Grass and Zuba David, then Blood of My Blood and Brace for Impact and Green Moss Tara. And Sandosion looking towards the back passive future is the current back marker. They've still got an awful long way to go, and it's just as well they've only got 22 fences because the way they've jumped the ones they've got over so far, there won't be anybody left if they had to jump 30. And half Supremes in the lead. And over that one they go, and a few mistakes towards the back, particularly by W again. But half Supreme leading the way. For Derek Hinton, who's had a pretty impressive season on both codes as they take that one. Need some big races over the sticks and taking some big races on the flat as well. So, keep feeding on that Captain Morgan or Sailor Jerry or whatever it is you have dealt, and it'll um, obviously do them some good. Half Supreme's the leader from Ziva David, stalking in second. Then comes Right Grass and San Dossion as they take number 10. And the grey, Napoleon grey, was down on his nose at that one. And Coupe de Ville is being pushed along at the back, going more like a Morris Minor as they take the 11th. And we'll have that one okay as well. With old Dan City Blue now. Shuffle to the back, but Half Supreme still in front. Inside the final two miles now. Going past the big screen, past the winning post, one more circuit to go. And half supreme in the lead. Mighty Dev second, Ziva David third, Santos and four, then Brace for Impact and Right Grass and Grain Ambience. Then third, Profit and Glen Moss Tara and Big Future, then winning race and Blood of My Blood Ashton's after that one. Passive Future and the Every. Then the 
bit of a gap to Grecian Urner on its own as I take that next one. After that one, Napoleon Grey, Dark Knight W again, and Southern Quest, Coupe de Ville, and finally Dan Silly Blue being chased by one of the loose horses. I can't quite see which one it is. Looks like it might be a symbol of horses as they make their way to the 13th. That's a big ditch. And they're all over that one, okay. With Half Supreme in the lead. Then Mostara creeping closer on the outside. Then Sandosione, the top white. Praise for impact and Mighty Devil also close up. Good and my blood going wide on the track as they take the next. And Nievri was down around those that time. But it's still half supreme. Want to prove he's completely supreme rather than half supreme at the moment. With Sandosi on second. Glen Mostar is third as they take the next. Uh, good jump there by the Kevin Minahan horse. W again has seen that one get a little bit closer, but unfortunately for him, his other one, Southern Quest, has lost a bit of ground. Half Supreme lands in the lead from Glen Mostar in second. Sandossi in third. Passive Future has come through from the back to fourth. Really quietly creeping his way through the field to get into the race as they come in towards the final mile. And Half Supreme into this ditch over it nicely and we'll get over it okay and he's still in the lead then half supreme by a good three to Glen Mostara a great passive future then right grass on the inside Sandosione just getting a little bit trapped then blood of my blood Grecian Urn is getting a bit closer so too's Napoleon Grey that one makes some mistakes early but he's now going okay as they take that 18th and it's still half supreme in the lead but Glen Mostara and Passive Future are closing so to his blood of my blood train body Grand National Expert trainer Leon van Rensburg but Derek Hinton is no back number when it comes to Grand Nationals either and he's quickly gone 3-4 clear again now half supreme with Glen Mostar in hot pursuit in second Passive Future is in third Southern Quest is four Sandosione is five they're over the 19th they've just got three more to take now then and it's half supreme in the lead from Glen Mostar a second passive future Sandosion here comes Southern Quest now coming through with a run as they race down towards the next they've got four furlongs to race they've got three fences to jump over the third last they go and it's half supreme in the lead from top weight Sandosion in second then comes Glen Mostara, Passive Future and Napoleon Grey, the two greys are coming then then comes Right Grass, Dan Silly Blues come from the back, Ashton is still there, Nievri's trying to run on, they race down towards the final two fences then in the Irish Grand National and it's Half Supreme being strongly pressed by top weight Sandosione looking for room there, Glen Mostara's got a bit boxed in, Passive Future still going well on the outside over the second last and a mistake by the top weight Sandosione has given the lead back to Half Supreme, it's Half Supreme in the lead, Sandosione, here comes Passive Future on the outside, Glen Mostara is now now got daylight running on in fifth is right grass at the final fence they go and another mistake by Sandosion and passive future's gone on from Glen Mostara passive future Glen Mostara then half supreme and Sandosion into the final half where they go and it's passive future holding on from Glen Mostara Glen Mostara doesn't look to be putting much of an effort and it's passive future who's now pulling away and up towards the line passive future takes in Glen Mostara second half supreme is after that one Sandosion gave it away with two bad mistakes in the last two fences Mighty Dev may be the last one to get round. But it's a win for Passive Future by a good length. From Glen Mostara Half Supreme, Sandosion was fourth. We'll get a full look at the card shortly. And passive future for Daniel French. Big win for Daniel French there. Well done with that one. Uh, second place went to Derek Hinton's horse, I think, wasn't it? Let's see, I can't remember. That was Glen Mostara for Ghost Zapper. Didn't go through with its challenge. Half Supreme, Derek Hinton was third. Sandosio for Molly at Surfer was fourth. And right grass for David Robertson. Run on to be fifth.